We have to make dua for our brothers and sisters, the uh, civilians, babies, children, mothers and fathers who have been killed so far in Gaza, in Palestine. Allahumma arham mawtahum. Allahumma ahshurhum ma'a shuhada'i wa nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa salihin wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his glorious names and lofty attributes to bless and have mercy on those among them who have been slain and killed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite them with the martyrs, the prophets, the righteous people and those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make their children waiting for them at the fountain. The fountain with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa on the day of judgment and at the doors of Jannah and intercede for their parents and their family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change their affairs from fear, persecution into peace and security. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring about justice for all those oppressed, our brothers and sisters in Palestine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide those who have gone astray. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give those who deserve it the punishment that he sees that they deserve. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give victory to those who are on the truth. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Most importantly, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the Muslim Ummah and abolish the hypocrisy from among us and return those who were lost back to guidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the filth and the disgrace that we have fallen into as a nation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us in that which pleases him in this world and in the next and give us strength after disgrace. My brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, the ummah will always have amazing people among it. And there will always be people who remind, reform, bring back people to the path, guide bi'idhnillah, it will never ever stop. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did say, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي قائمين على الحق لا يضرهم من خالفهم إلى يوم القيامة. There will always be groups in my nation, around the world, and in another hadith, around Asham in the uh, greater Syria area, and also dispersed in the world, who will always be standing on truth and correct guidance. No one who opposes them can affect them or change them or manipulate them or make them swerve away from the value that they stand on and the belief. It, until, Rasul said, until the last hour. They will always, always be there. So we know now, alhamdulillah, at least, it is impossible by the promise of Allah that the righteous people from the ummah of the Prophet will never die out and they will always be there.